I am back on the mini for 10 days just to revamp my body and get my digestion having a little bit of a break because you know how it goes every meal we have so many things and even when you say oh I don't eat complicated and I don't eat a lot of things if you were to write down what you eat every meal incorporate so many different items and when you look at your whole day of eating you're like whoa so when we say we're you know simplifying it with the Mary's mini and just giving you know non-starchy veggies and potatoes you know at every meal it really does give your body a break it's very very simple and easy and your body's just going to digest so much easier and you will see some weight loss and Usually, um, you know, with me, I get an increase in energy um, just because I know that I'm fueling my body with really good things. Potatoes are amazing and so nutritious. I have all my potatoes ready to go. I'm just sticking with these yellow potatoes just because they're really easy to find at Costco. Um, we can buy a whole bunch of them and they are absolutely delicious. You can use them in many different ways. So I really prefer these ones. I know some people really like the russets. Go for that if you prefer that, but I really like these ones. So if you want more meal ideas, then go ahead and look at my playlist because there I have a ton of different ideas. I've done rice minis, potato minis, oat minis. Um, I really, really enjoy doing it because it's like I said, a revamp and a reset. <clears throat> so why do we do the Mary's mini? Mary's mini is basically a short term diet. It shouldn't be a long term thing because you just need so many nutrients, so many vitamins and you might be able to get it, but I just don't like anything like this long term personally. If you feel like you need to because you have an excessive amount of weight to lose and that is really important for your health and well being, then that's fine. But this diet was originally supposed to be a short term thing. So it is a short term thing to shed some weight because you will shed weight if you're doing it properly and you're not having any cheats. Sorry, my chair is like squeaky, my little stool. Um, if you're doing it properly and you're not having cheats and you are just having your starch of choice and your non-starchy veggies at each and every meal without very many condiments, you can use condiments but don't like pile them on because we're supposed to keep things simple and that's the point of the diet. Um, but you can use it just to jazz up your meals a little bit, that's fine, but just use it sparingly. But if you are a vegan that has processed food, um, even more so, the mini is fantastic because you just, you need that cleanse, your body needs a break, and it's just gonna go back to, you know, whole foods, real food, and fuel yourself when you need it. So one of the things, you know, that um, this diet, whether it's rice, potatoes, whatever you're choosing, oats, um, you really will figure out, am I really hungry? Or am I just like picking at things? Or am I eating because the clock tells me I have to eat? you're gonna follow what your body wants and you're gonna notice that you're really getting in tune with your cues, your hunger cues, and then when you're full, you're full. You just know. Um, that's one of the things that I really like about the mini because after a few days, your body just kind of revamps and readjusts and it's like, oh, I'm not hungry and that's fine. I will eat when my body is hungry. So as far as veggies go, you want to stick with non-starchy veggies. Um, if on occasion you're on a mini and all you have is something that is a starchy veggie, um, it's probably okay to have a little bit of that and that's fine because that's what you had and you still need to get veggies in. Any way you look at it, you just need to get enough veggies. So really, really try to find non-starchy veggies to put with your starch of choice. And then, yeah, as far as condiments go, you can have ketchup, a little bit of ketchup, you can have mustard, you can have balsamic vinegar. Um, I'm trying to stay away from vinegars, but I'm finding that because I can't have like beans and stuff right now, um, a lot of my sauces would be like um, either hemp hearts or like white bean, and that's what I use as my dressings on things. Um, I'm gonna have to do something else but you guys will see I'll come up with something but I did use a little bit of balsamic on my veggies just a touch and yeah that's what I've been doing and then I love greens every kind of green um, you really need to get those greens in for your skin health and of course all of the nutrition that they have they are like so power packed so you want to get all those greens in. you can have cauliflower you can have broccoli you can have carrots you can have Brussels sprouts 
you can have cabbage there are so many things that you can have that are non starchy just google it and you're going to find like a whole list um, you can also look at my old blog post because i do have some info on there i will link it in the video because that was like i don't i want to say like maybe three years ago when i first did the mini for the first time and I just wrote about my experience and I added some you know tidbits of information in there and I think I also added a picture of non-starchy veggies and the ones that are most common that I used anyway so that might be helpful to you as well so I did start a telegram uh, channel but I'm not sure what's going on with the settings and um, apparently you can't post in there and you can't uh, respond to my posts so I mean what's the point of having it if that's the case um, so I do have my Facebook page which I'm not very um, active on but I will try to post throughout the mini and if you guys want to post what you're eating then go ahead and do that on the Facebook page and it might motivate people if you are on the mini as well you know what kind of things are you having and you know how do you feel on the mini so I think it's really important for that feedback as well so that people can, um, you know, see how you're doing on your journey of the Mary's Mini. Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for being here this week. So we are prepping for our potato mini, making sure that we have all our potatoes cooked and ready to go. So I have bought many bags of these of potatoes. So once upon a time, we used to buy 50 pound bags of potatoes on the potato mini, but we haven't been able to pick any up lately. So we're just getting these regular bags from Costco. These are yellow potatoes and they taste really delicious and they work really well in so many meals for the Mary's mini. So I always make sure that I have my Instant Pot full of potatoes and they are cooked and ready to go. If I am planning on making mashed potatoes, then I will overcook them on purpose and that way I can just mash them right in the Instant Pot and there we go, we are done. Add some spices and you've got instant mashed potatoes. But if I'm planning on air frying them or just eating them just as is, then I'm just going to cook them in about like 12 minutes is what I put mine in for. And again, it's really, really full right to the top and I put in as many potatoes as I can possibly fit inside the instant pot so yeah it just you know I add a little bit of water to the bottom and then close it all up for 12 minutes and they are cooked perfectly I do stab my potatoes before you know turning it on I don't know it's just something I do I don't know if everyone does that it's just something my mom showed me to do when I was a kid and it's something that just stuck with me so I do it just to stab them so they don't explode everywhere and that's pretty much it so I have this steamer basket from Amazon that's really handy and it's great, but then I realized that I had the wrong Instant Pot. So that's for my really big Instant Pot, there are different sizes. So I ended up having to remove them from that basket and just placing them in with the uh, little, like it's like a little steaming trivet that comes with the machine and I just used that and I put water again on the bottom and steamed them all up. So yeah, that steaming basket's great, it's on Amazon if you want to pick it up. I've had it for so many years and it works perfectly. So once my potatoes are cooled off, I just leave them in the pot until I place them in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. I'm just putting them in the air fryer like you saw and I'm just going to have that with some greens and a little bit of this ketchup. It's sweetened with dates and it's really healthy and delicious. And I think this was a find from Costco but it was a while back. And so we stocked up when they were on sale and we just kind of have a whole bunch. I do have uh, another ketchup that's also sugar free that I use while on the mini. So I'm just drizzling a little bit of this balsamic vinegar on my greens. I just have spinach and pea shoots there. Um, that's just what I had. Sometimes I have different types of, you know, sprouts and greens and microgreens, but that's just what I had on this day. And there's the air fried potatoes, delicious. And it's really filling and delicious. You can eat as much as you want until you are full, but really potatoes are super filling and you just don't need as many as you think to feel really full. Just make sure you're getting enough greens. That's really, really important on the Mary's Mini. Get all those really lovely leafy greens in and then just focus on your other veggies as well. 
I have this Mrs. Dash that is salt free and I actually got sick of this, you know, Southwestern, I think Chipotle is what it is because I used it so much during the mini that I am actually sick of it, but it was delicious, you know, when it was new to me. Um, and yeah, so I enjoyed some of that on my food. So this is what I mean with the potatoes. So these guys were pretty, um, not super overcooked, but they were kind of smushy. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to smush the rest of them and just make some mashed potatoes. And I just mash them right in the Instant Pot just to save some time and I don't have to get another bowl and dirty it. I just do it all in one pot. So my 22 year old had this great idea. She's like, mom, why don't you stuff peppers, but instead of stuffing it with rice, stuff it with your mashed potatoes and that way that's, you know, Mary's mini compliant. And I was like, wow, great idea. So I decided to do it. I mashed my potatoes like you saw, and then I just had my raw peppers. You can actually cook these peppers and make them softer, but I like that crunch, so I didn't want to overcook them. I put all my potatoes in, and then you can add whatever, you know, salt-free seasoning, whatever you want to jazz up your mashed potatoes with. I put like garlic powder and salt, um, and I put a little bit of onion powder in it as well. And then I just popped in the oven just to get it a little bit brown and cook it up slightly. So I actually used the broil method because I wanted it to get a little bit crispy on top. So I think I put it in for around 10 minutes or so and they seemed perfect to me. This is how they turned out nice and crispy on the top they were so delicious uh, we really really enjoyed it this was probably one of my favorite meals on the mary's mini just something different and you know i really really love my peppers with a little bit of crunch so although they were cooked they still had a little bit of that crunch going and i really like that so they were super delicious and again very healthy and very filling because potatoes make you full for a long time Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Thanks again for being here this week and I will see you in my next Mary's mini recipe videos coming up next week. Take care everyone, health, joy, and positive vibes and I will see you in the next video.